Society seems to be the reason I have become so overwhelmed with my appearance, my success, and my personality. It holds standards upon everyone regardless of what class they're in. But as much as it has done wrong to me, it's done right. I have learned about it and have taken from it what I call strength, because we all have strengths, but sometimes society makes it hard for them to be recognized. Understanding this isn't simple, and for the most part, there is no real answer as of why we define and shape ourselves to meet those criteria. Being a plus size model, I can say I was once even competing with myself to have that perfect shape. But looking back to grade school when I was only 10, I reflected on how children so young already have that mindset because I wasn't beautiful to my group of friends and I was a fat girl or the pig. It never really made sense to me until now how we ourselves shape our children to believe they are perfect compared to others. I say we because I'm a mother myself and for that I am judged as well. The realization of my life hit really hard when I was on a lifeline for the attempt of suicide. See, those in my society never took the time to know me and why I looked a certain way. Nor do they know it was affecting me mentally to the point I had to seek help. Now I reflect on my past and the person I have become and realize I wouldn't exactly fit in if I let society define me. If I did, I wouldn't have surpassed my guilt of my struggle as an obese child, nor would I have become a mom. Acceptance is difficult when there are so many ways to try and prove ourselves to others, but trying to fit in would be a denial of reality. Our schools teach us so many ways in which we should build a nation and emphasize the idea that we are the future, yet they themselves change that concept by the unequal standards they have amongst each person. They worry too much about what makes us who we are. I found acceptance in the life of my son because he was my miracle and my way of surpassing all the struggles as the time went by and I fought ovarian cancer and spinal stenosis. I got through the stereotypes, the expectations everyone had for me. The criticism of being pregnant at such an early age and failing in life or not making it to college after working so hard in high school, for not being married and having sex without religious consent. This is when the society that defined me became the society I defined the way I wanted it because I know I want the best for my son, but I also want him to stay humble and know what society has caused for me and how one judgment, one word, or even a statement can change or hurt a person forever. With time, I realized this was a society that supported me and my goals. I was recognized by the County of Los Angeles for being a student and community activist and was granted a full ride to Whittier College. I am a social work and Spanish major, working in hopes to make a positive difference in the lives of others. I will be that resource I needed one day to be where I am today. I am engaged to my middle school crush and the father of my son who makes me the happiest woman alive. Although I can't promise my family that there won't be any struggles along the way, I can assure them I will always be there for them. Even if I had been treated unequal, I proved myself I have the strength everyone doubted me of. We all make mistakes, we all judge, and we are all part of a society that complements our life, and with that, we all have our own battles. But in the end, those battles will be a strength, one of which will make us who we are because we can make our lives what we want it to be, if only we dare to be ourselves.